Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in to another Freelancer School Tips and Tricks tutorial video. My name is Taylor Keen, and today I'm going to show you how to test your events browser side in Facebook Events Manager so that you can see what parameters are being sent so that you can troubleshoot your pixel better. Um, we do have a uh, free school.com community. Uh, the community is called Freelancer School on there, and I'll put a link below if you want to ask questions, join a community of advanced beginner to advanced freelancers, and um, yeah, there's lots of good information in there as well. So, hopping right in, if you have a, I guess I should show the screen, <laughs> um, hop right in. If you have a business manager, what you're going to want to do is go to your business suite and then click on all tools, click events manager. Uh, you probably don't have this many pixels, but you can click on the pixel and then that you want to test up here and then click on test events at the very top. When you go down here, this used to not be here, but it says confirm your website events are set up correctly and you can click open website. Um, then you can click, uh, so right now we're just testing events. So I know where my events are set up basically. So I'm going to fire those events. And in the past, that's the pixel helper from the Chrome web store, but it doesn't work for all events or like works, but it, we're trying, we need to see more than that live of what it's sending. So we're going to click pricing. So I'm going to set off some events here and then man. Um, all right, so we basically are there. So I'm going to just come back here. These are all the events that were just fired. Um, so if you want to like click on them, you'd be like, boom, the URL it fired on the action source, what parameters are being sent. Um, so like if we look at my view content event, we can see, you know, this exact, um, the object, the object parameters that are being sent with it. And then also the, um, the customer information parameters. So we should like, for me, I'm trying to continually add more advanced pa matching parameters um, earlier on now. Um, same thing with add to cart. So what you want to do is use this to then go back and um, match like your server side events, which I'm not going to get into the duplication right now, um, but Basically, this is a good starting point to understand even if your integration works how you want it to work. Because just because you connect an integration to um, Facebook does not mean it's just going to work. Now, with Shopify and Wix, for the most part, it does the job for, I would say, most basic things. But like if you have a WordPress site, um, there's a lot more configuration. And that's going to take like, a GTM setup. Um, and then you're going to have to figure out how you want to send your server side events, etc. So, again end rant uh join us in freelancer school on school.com um, and we'll get all those uh yeah we're just trying to create a good community there and um provide value because there's a lot of crap information out there so we appreciate you tuning in we'll catch you next time